What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about something that's happened in the ESO community over the last week that's kind of upset a lot of players within the community itself. And that is a group, a trial group getting banned from ESO for reporting a bug in that particular trial they were in. Yes, you heard me right. They got banned for reporting the issue. Now, we're not sure on all the details. The individuals that got banned said they were just doing the trial like normal, came across the glitch, came across the bug. It did not uh, make them do the mechanics for that particular boss. And of course they reported it and their accounts got banned or frozen or whatever the case may be. It's been such a issue in the community. So many people kind of just outraged by it saying, you know, this is crazy. You want us to report bugs and report problems for your game, but then you ban us for doing it. The Zoss had to come out with a statement saying in general, if you come across a major bug in ESO, the best course of action is not to take advantage of it. Doing so is considered exploiting. Stop whatever you're doing, report the bug via the in-game menu or message a Zoss team member on the ESO forums or on Reddit. Posting any information publicly or streaming the exploit are not proper avenues to report the issue. They also want to clarify that simply reporting a bug or bot is not grounds for suspension or ban against your account, though there may be situations where they need to temporarily freeze your account while an investigation takes place. And I think a lot of people were kind of turned off <laughs> about, uh, about this by this message. It's just, it seems like, you know, they're saying if you're finding a problem and you're reporting it, you know, we're not going to ban you, but we could if we think we have grounds to. And I understand if these individuals in this trial were posting this stuff on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, saying this is how you do this exploit. But at the same time, there's been a lot of games out there that has never banned people for doing that either. I can think of a lot of games that have exploits and, and things where people make videos and post it on Twitter and post it on YouTube. And they're just doing it to show people how to do it. And there's also the situation of where some people post things to try to get the developer's attention. Because we all know if you go to an in-game reporting kind of system, a lot of times you get that automated message. Same thing happens on forums. You'll get that automated kind of message saying they're going to look into it. Or you won't get a reply at all. And it makes players feel like, you know, the, the developers aren't listening. Now, I'm going to give Zoss more credit than that because they usually always, you know, kind of answer and respond. A lot of times if a bug or problem is big enough and enough people are talking about it, you will get a response or, you know, kind of a discussion from the, the, the development team itself. But in this issue... I think a lot of players in game are just kind of concerned that they're going to get in trouble for reporting something that's broken with inside the game. So they feel like they're just not going to report it at all. That's what most people are saying is, well, I'm just not going to report bugs anymore, which is a bad thing in my opinion, because then you're not going to have, you know, that community and development team kind of, you know, conversation where if there are a lot of issues where people are kind of, you know, having these conversations back and forth with the development team, players now are just going to say, forget it. I'm not reporting this because, you know, I'm not going to get my account frozen or banned just because I report a problem in, in their game. And, you know, that that's going to be the situation, I think, if Zoss doesn't maybe put out another statement and kind of clarify exactly maybe what went on or, you know, kind of give us some loose details because we're not sure exactly what happened. Uh, like I said, if these individuals were you know showing this stuff off and telling people how to do this i can understand why they might be upset why zoss would probably want to ban them but if it's just something they came across and they reported it you know while it was going on or you know right after they finished the trial i don't really understand why these individuals accounts got frozen or even banned for temporarily whatever the case may be and hopefully zoss will kind of you know zoss and the community both will kind of learn from this hopefully zoss will maybe reconsider exactly how they handle these bans and account freezes. And hopefully the community itself will not kind of go out of its way to not report things just because they're afraid that, you know, something's going to happen. And I do understand that a lot of people feel that way. There's a lot of people saying that, you know, they just do not want to report anything anymore because they want to get in trouble. There's no point if they're going to get in trouble and get banned themselves. If they're not going to ban the bots or fix the problems. Why would you report it just so you can get in trouble? And I do understand uh, kind of that side of it as well. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliates here on the channel, Amazon Associates and Empire Jerky. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.